all right welcome back everyone to another video and in this one i am just going to show a little display for the raspberry pi and i've sort of had a previous video about these 50 to 40 pin displays and i've i've, I've um i've had quite a good response so i guess people like those sort of things um so this one specifically for the raspberry pi it's not so much about the display as it's about this particular hat from waveshare so this hat works on any 40 to 50 pin display with this adapter right there um so this is the official display they said i got the uh five inch kit i have a seven inch display that i can i, I will uh, show you guys working and I have the Raspberry Pi 02W and that this was actually the target device I wanted to use it with. Uh, this works on any Raspberry Pi, um, literally any one of them. So the trick here is there's no chip on it. So it's not converting HDMI or like D, D, uh, DSI or anything else to um, an LCD. And this is like one of the only ways to get non hdmi display out of uh pi zero series because they don't have the dsi connector they only have the camera connector so earlier uh, i showed the solution what i was using so very similar display uh this one this one has a touch i just don't have the touch decoder it's a nice quick c chip so eventually i'd figure it out how to use it um but you used to have this hd uh the, this display, 40 pin display interface to HDMI converter chip from this one's from Adafruit, I believe, and that would convert it to HDMI. So now you're dealing with the display itself, a controller board that needs to be powered, and then laying the HDMI cables. Luckily, you can get these flat flex ones, uh, but if you don't get those flat flex ones, then HDMI cables are pretty nasty to deal with in terms of uh, how you can store them in a, in a closed in case project, um, and you even the flat hdmi cables with the rubber rubber uh, insulation on them are pretty thick uh, they're not this flat like this cable so the way it works is all raspberry pis and i mean all of them have this gpio header header and we are very familiar with it what i i at least i wasn't familiar with was this header all of the gpio pins have an alt function or an alternative function of uh, RGB 24 or RGB 666 or RGB 566 or 556, some of that spec. So this one's using the RGB 24 parallel display interface. And you and with a device tree overlay, you can convert all of these pins, all of them. So this consumes all of your GPIOs. That's the only downside uh, to, okay, there's one more downside. I'll get to it later on to, um, to a display port a, a, like a display interface so you're not using any chips you, you're not using any translations or, or or any sort of hdmi to xyz conversion this is coming directly out of your raspberry pi and it works great for the most part so let's try and power it up uh, and then once i show you this particular display working we'll move on to a seven inch one uh, which works fine as well uh, so we have that in and then let me just grab a power cable uh, and the moment you plug it in the display lights up now I, I, I'm not sure if that's visible with the uh, lamp I have here or right on my desk but you should see a cursor come up pretty soon so there's your blinking cursor right near my thumb where I'm pointing and then the display should right light up in a second i'm holding it at an angle so there's your mouse because you can see <laughs> there's my camera with the large lamp uh, and that's the display so it's very bright the, the display that waveshare sent sent uh, along with this one again i bought this i said waveshare sent i mean shipped with the hat is actually fairly bright it's a really nice quality display um so there you go that works uh, so I think I'll keep the seven-inch display uh, for the end. I have a couple of key caveats. Caveats. I have a couple of issues with this uh, that I want to address first. Um, so let me plug in the wireless keyboard over OTG. Um, and if you're uh, not too happy about the OTG situation on 
your Raspberry Pi Zeros. I uh, think I have ordered something that might help with that. And that should arrive soon. So keep subscribed and I hopefully make a video on it. But for now, I have my keyboard. And as you can see, it works. Uh, so let's open up a terminal. And right, so here's the good thing you don't need the GUI you can actually go full command line on this display and it works fine um, it's not a uh, some in some SPI situations I've seen the drivers are weird where it copies the frame before or does some weird stuff so it's not actually you you can't go into complete um, DRM only command line mode with like FB dev running uh, but here you can so uh, seven, yep and the issue here is i haven't found any mention of this being uh, gpu accelerated so if i run glx gears with info on it oops info not in so glx gears shows up after a while which is fine but if you scroll up it says LLVM pipe so which means it's running on the CPU and we can see that with htop I don't know if I have htop installed now we'll be able to see it with top but let's see htop yeah so um, you can see CPUs are pretty much loaded running GLX gears and that's one downfall I've seen or like one one weird thing I've seen with this I if if someone knows if this can be accelerated let me know um, but my use case doesn't really require it so I'm not really worried about it my use case is basically going to be in the console only mode so luckily for me I'm fine in that area uh, the other thing um, I wanted to show was the 7 inch display working uh, and so I'll just power it off and we'll get that one attached um, just plug that out shut down so with the 7 inch one there's a bit of a weirdness going on that you have to still use this so I got bamboozled a bit because if you can see the traces from the 50 pin to 50 pin are pretty straightforward but for whatever reason I can't connect the 7 inch display directly onto this header I still need this board I'm guessing there's some weirdness going here but all I see is maybe there's some jumpers here or there for the 50 pin one that I'm missing um, it, it still it still won't work so I do really need this um, Daughter, or like daughter board conversion board it's actually yep rgb 50p to 40 50p converter board and this comes with the hat so it really, it's really not a issue if you don't have one the you get the hat you get the thing um i believe that is the correct way it might be upside down as well so that this is always a gamble with the um, 50 pin one because i've seen it go the other way and I keep on forgetting what's the correct orientation um, if it's flipped or if it's not flipped anyway we'll power it on and if it comes up uh, you will be able to see it yep it comes up so yes initially while it's loading um, it, it doesn't blank out it gives you this wonderfully disturbing rainbow screen which feels like that the display is dry, dying and crying for help which it might be doing Initial, initial startup it might be dying and crying for help uh, but eventually it comes around and boots up so give it a moment there you go there's the cursor and that comes up the display looks off because there is a contrast control oddly enough the contrast control only works for the uh, for the 50 pin uh, display the larger ones wow this display is not good yeah about there so you can see the brightness is really low on these seven inch ones um and uh, yeah this is as good as it gets <laughs> so it could be that the 
uh, LED driver on this is really meant for the 5 inch one but the same kit is sold with the wave with WaveShare 7 inch one so I guess WaveShare just has good batch of displays so they don't have to drive the LED that hard so you can turn off the um, backlight so display is still working just turn off the backlight to save power if you're in that situation um, now because of the lack of GPIOs there's no way okay the lack of free GPIOs um, there's no way to programmatically control uh, the backlight on and off so a uh, yeah either you blank the display and uh, I think the backlight still remains on if the display gets blanked I'm pretty sure it does because this is the only way to turn it on and off manually yeah so this was about it um, I am very happy that there's now a solution at least for the Raspberry Pi to move away from a contraption like this to something like this and it's baked into the Raspbian OS I would have loved if there was a solution that was baked into say a more generic upstream OS like Fedora but they're using DTO overlays you probably can load a separate device tree file on a Fedora and still get it to work but I'm not sure about the upstream DPI driver support so Raspberry Pi still maintains their OS it's not that bad as someone's like banana pie or like orange pie they just give you an android image and call it a day maybe they'll give you an ubuntu image and call it a day never update it so it's not that bad but it's still not mainline um i'd love to see some form of upstream or mainline support whether it requires uh loading uh, a separate device tree or not but probably will um because upstream device tree overlays are not supported and that's an entirely different discussion I don't want to get into right now because I want to keep this video around 10 minutes and that's about it so I wanted to show you this display you don't need a separate HDMI or other weird solution you can just have flat flexes easily tucked away you can have a nice display I'm going to use the 5 inch one for my projects as I've mentioned before um, yeah I hope WaveShare sells just these two attachments separately because I have a couple of 7 inch displays that I can use. Um, anyways, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one.